Welcome to Tea Time with Tommy and Tox, where you learn about our life, life lessons. lessons. <laughs> <laughs> Tommy, what have you what have you been learning? Oh, okay. Um, my lesson has been on authenticity. Mm. I am my superpower. Mm. I am it. I am what makes it special. Wow. And. Every time I try to downplay my meanness, mm -hmm. I am shortchanging myself. Wow, that's powerful. Yeah, um, and I think this is a lesson you learn with age. Mm -hmm. And in retrospect, and um, when you come to a point where you begin to attract um, the people and the experiences and the opportunities mm -hmm. that are drawn to you mm -hmm. because of you, right. then you begin to appreciate right. who you are. Mm -hmm. So for me, for instance, I've always said, I'm a fashion entrepreneur, but I'm not a fashionista. Ah, okay. Right. Okay. And for a while, I... I knew that I didn't quite articulate it that way, mm -hmm. but I thought it wasn't a good thing. Oh. I thought the stereotypical mm. fashion designer, mm. you know, walked in six inch heels, <laughs> had lashes for days, was um, oh, just slayed wherever she was. Was always slayed, yeah. was at all the parties. Mm. If I attend an event day one, I might be okay. <laughs> day two, <laughs> by day four, I am not myself. Mm. <laughs> I'm an introverted extrovert, <laughs> one of those. So I always thought that this thing that I was, this version of me, this fashion entrepreneur, was not um i couldn't really call myself a fashion designer right because i felt i didn't take th those boxes of who the fashion entrepreneur was right. i wasn't a fashionista i didn't have mm -hmm. any interest in being a fashionista okay. i wasn't an extrovert i didn't have any interest in being an right. extrovert um so according to what the world's definition of a fashion entrepreneur was i thought that wasn't me that wasn't, mm. so i remember a friend of mine was saying to me I've forgotten what the conversation was and I said to her, um, I'm not really creative, you know, I'm just um, an element entrepreneur and thank God for people we have in our lives. Mm -hmm. And she said, what are you talking about? <laughs> How can you even say you're not creative? Mm -hmm. You know, and you know, it's taking God teaching me wow. that not only am I creative, mm -hmm. That, that's quite apparent. I am a fashion designer. Of course. I am called to people who are attracted to this version right. of fashion right. designer. Yes. yes. My journey, my personality, right. my mindset, my quirks, mm -hmm. my introvertedness, extrovertedness, mm -hmm. the way I think, the way I write, the way I dress, my conservativeness. All of that makes me spectacular. Absolutely. And they make me unique. Absolutely. And they put me on a billboard. Absolutely. To those people who I am called right. to serve. I love that. That's amazing. That's so incredible. now, more than ever before, not only do I work with my head held high, mm. I am falling in love with this person. Mm. Not only do I love her, I'm intrigued by her. Wow. I'm curious about her layers, mm -hmm. who she is, what else there is to discover right, about right. her. Mm -hmm. And I see this journey into in self-discovery, whether I'm discovering my fashion designness, designerness, <laughs> or I'm discovering discovering my other gifts. You know, you already know I'm an author, I love to write. Um, and how they all work together, together to make this unique, amazing, 
right. human being. For me, it's okay. a trip to even kind of have this out of body. Right. Wow. Yeah. yeah. No, you're you're hundred percent right. You are yeah. something special. Absolutely. You know, and special. that goes for all of us, mm. isn't it? Mm. The moment you can embrace your uniqueness. Mm -hmm. Um, you begin to fold, filter out anybody who tries to dim that light. Right. You know, um, then I would hear people say things to feed into that mm -hmm. thing that I was already feeling, this insecurity. You know, people say, oh, she, you're not a, a fashionista, you know, <laughs> like that had anything to do with making the money. <laughs> <laughs> you know, and I would, I would take that in. I'm like, oh, okay, it's true. This, this other person yes. is a fashion designer because look at look her, at her. Mm -hmm. you know. So now, um, not only have I embraced who I am and I love who I am, I am now more conscious as, uh, as to why I'm the way I am right. and the people who I am called to, they need me to be this person. You know what I mean? Got you. you know, so that's a... That's a powerful and round, beautiful long roundabout way of saying <laughs> no, Every word was yeah. needed because yeah. you spelled out authenticity in such right. very clear terms, right. which is embracing your uniqueness, the, yeah. the mix of how you were made. Oh, yeah. Don't chisel out the rough parts of you. Mm. Don't try and squeeze yourself to fit into a box or a template right. that looks attractive on the outside. Yeah. That's one of my 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 core principles is living authentically. Yeah. Uh, because it's open doors for me. So yeah. I just say yeah. that to, yeah. to buttress what you're saying. Yeah. It really is a door opener. Yeah. Um, I've had moments when I... I think I shared this the other night at your event right. where I I have my story of right. losing everything yeah. and starting the baby cut shop which uh, opened so many doors to me including getting me to get an, in the, getting an invitation from the Prime Minister to right. come have cocktails at his house right. and you know my concession in a department store just so many doors but yeah. every single one of them only mm. came about because not only was I being myself, yeah. I showed like this is, yeah, who, I this is who I am. The yeah. mix, the quirks, like you said, all of it. Yeah. It's, it's, but we live in a world that doesn't um, uh, encourage authenticity, yeah. especially where we've got the, the social media and Instagram and that, um, Pinterest, not Pinterest, but Instagram right, right. You know, yeah, and right. TikTok, where yeah. it's all about showing a version of yourself that yeah. the majority of people would love. Yeah. Um, um, and again, it takes me back to one of our previous lessons yeah. that we talked about, yeah. which is where you talked about being intentional right. and also loving yourself. And yeah. You said that just now, loving yeah. yourself yeah. and falling in love with who you are as a person. Yeah. Yeah. I think that's beautiful. Yeah, I think, I think so too. And mm. to anybody who is listening, mm. you know, we did talk about one of the greatest investments you can make is mm. on self-discovery. Mm -hmm. You know, you need to know yourself yeah. to fully appreciate exactly. yourself yeah. and even though we are in a world that we say doesn't encourage um, or reward authenticity i think you have to create this world oh yeah for yourself yeah, yeah, yeah because absolutely. the people who i would say make up my universe mm -hmm encourage right authenticity Absolutely. you know they reward Absolutely. it and they call me out yeah this is In, not you <laughs> yeah that who the heck is this person this is not this yeah. is not you you know and so you you're accountable Absolutely. as well and more importantly your life is worship mm. to god you know and you are a version of him right here right. on earth right. if, if you don't show up as who you are, 110%, you are denying the world of seeing this version, this side oh God. of God, that only you can can showcase. Absolutely. So yeah, I am not the stereotypical fashion designer, mm -hmm. but you know, I say now that I say that now mm -hmm. as a plus. Right. You know what I mean? Yeah, because you're not you don't want you're not trying to fit into any I boxes. am not trying to fit yeah. in any box and I love the fact that I'm not your mm -hmm. regular mm -hmm. um, fashion designer. Absolutely. There's so much more to me. And I also love the fact that I have 
curated mm -hmm. the people in my life, the experiences in my life yeah. to that, that further buttress this right, point, right, you right. know, so yeah. that I'm comfortable now. Mm -hmm. in the, I'm not fighting it. Yeah. I'm not, you know what I mean? I know even social media, <laughs> even social media algorithms, what you focus on, it keeps giving you more of. Oh, yeah. So I am intentional about curating this life. Yes, yes, that it's amazing. okay to be who you are. It's not just okay. You should be. It's amazing yeah. being who you are and it is rewarded it is yeah i agree i agree yeah. and it also forms authenticity creates a boundary line around your life to attract the right people yeah. and repel the wrong people oh yeah so oh, yeah. you don't I, one of the, the the things i see on social that turns me off or like yeah. i i on on, on follow on right what does it say when it says it tells you i don't want to see this anymore yes yes, yes yeah, yeah. You know, once upon a time you only yeah. saw stuff that you subscribe yes. to i think now it's like i didn't yeah. ask you can we go back uh, to that people? yeah please <laughs> You know, so oh. like, nope, I don't want to say it. It's those people yeah, who go, yeah. your enemies, this, your enemies. Oh. Like, no, 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 That's no, a whole no. other podcast. Me being myself is, it repels oh, whatever you know, they exist. No. Oof, <laughs> it's a yeah, kind of deal. Yeah. <laughs> oh, man. Uh, That's a great one. Yeah.